Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three here in Asheville. What a beautiful day. Rick and I went up the mountain and it was glorious and and it's spring here, so a lot of the uh, mountain laurel and wildflowers were in bloom. And as you got more up to the top of the mountain, trees started to get naked again because the uh, warm temps haven't gotten up that far. But there were just so many beautiful evergreens and uh, the smells were heavenly and it was wonderful. I love my mountains. I love my painting. I came down here to do a painting. I did... Uh, I did a really cool, um, gosh, uh, you know, it's either a galaxy pour or a straight pour. I honestly don't know the difference between the two. And if anybody out there does, just let me know. But it was a straight pour because I didn't jiggle it, which makes it a ring pour. Um, and I used um, some satin enamel which I don't know if that makes it a galaxy pour or the way you stretch it out makes it a galaxy pour. I don't know, but I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do painting today. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the same colors because I have a good amount of leftovers. We're working on my favorite canvas. It is an edge canvas and the size of it is wonderful. It's a 16 by 16. Um, I'm real partial to that size, either 16 by 16, 18 by 18, or 20 by 20. A square canvas is really, really nice for a um, straight pour or a galaxy pour or a ring pour or any kind of pour, I guess. So let's talk about our colors today. Our um, flow extender, if we need it, is in this cup right here. This is actually slop bucket paint. It's a bunch of leftover blues. But then I added a squirt of the golden fluids in the turquoise, which really, really, really richened it up. But I don't know if you can see that consistency. I am painting with some thick paint today. I'm painting with some thick paint because when I was in Seattle, my very good friend, my right-hand man, Yen from Yen C Art uh, gifted me the pouring medium that he uses over in Germany, and it is Malvrick Basics 2-in-1 Pouring Medium. Now, I don't know if you can get it here. I don't think so, but this is thick as molasses, and it's creamy, and it mixes up so well. So, Yen, I thank you for this. That's what we're using today. But then I added a splash. I had a whole bunch of these because uh, Joann's mismarked their golden color pouring medium. And the price was like $2.99. And it's usually about $20.99. So I bought up about 30 of these. And um, I'm using them now. What's the difference between this and the golden GAC 800? From what I understand, not much of anything when they came out with this pouring medium. I called Golden and I said, what's the difference between this and GAC? And they were like, not much of anything. <laughs> now this does seem to be just a little bit thicker than the uh, Golden GAC 800, but we are um, working with um, Yen's pouring medium and a splash of the Golden Color pouring medium or GAC 800. Um, our colors, they're beautiful. Let's take a look at this right here. That is, I'm trying to use up a lot of bottles of things that I have very little in to clear some space. That is Golden Fluids, excuse me, Fluid Acrylics by Da Vinci, and that is their Filo Turquoise, and I used the last of this up, and I needed a little bit more, so I added some Da Vinci Filo Blue. So it came up with a really nice, rich blue. The phyllo blue to me tends to have too much of a purple hue, but those two blues together worked out really, really well. Um, this is a pretty gold, guys. This is such a pretty gold. You need to try it. I started out with Decolard Americana Metallics in the 24 karat gold. Now we all know how bossy this lady is and sometimes that can be good, but I toned her down by adding a little bit of the Sargent's art and this is the Aztec gold. Really, really nice. It has more of a coppery gold to it which just richened this paint up. 
let's take a look at the consistency on this guys this is literally the thickest paint that i have ever poured with so i'm really excited to give it a go you gotta experiment guys you gotta adjust things sometimes with a little adjustment things kind of start working so i'm playing this right here is deco art satin enamel in the pure white it is two parts of the deco art satin enamel to one part of the artist sloth soft body white acrylics and i apologize i don't have that bottle close by and this right here is one of kathleen's favorites deco excuse me oh my goodness golden fluid acrylics the keyword in the nickel azo gold and i had just a little bit of the golden fluids in the burnt umber and i added that in there and that made a pretty shade as well so we're trying to use some things up so i can have a little more space here in my little studio this is lovely goodness right here lots of air bubbles though this is my mac mac paint this is Arteza, and that is their Bordeaux Red. I buy this in gallons if I could. It's an absolutely beautiful red. So there we have it. Our pouring medium is Basics Pouring Medium by Malvec. It's a German blend, blend mixed with a little bit of the Golden Gloss Pouring Medium to get a nice thick consistency. Let's go ahead and look at that again. It leaves a fold on a fold on a fold or a blob <laughs> on a blob on a blob. So we're going to layer our cup right here. I probably won't need a flow extender. The last um, straight pour that I did, I leave, left some negative space on the sides, which I thought was really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. The, the paints will tell me as we go. I'm glad you're here, guys. Let's put some music on. Let's get busy.